let's get into this. So, this movie sucks. It sucks. It sucked. Okay. So let's get, let's really get into it. Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I reviewed the first one. People who don't know what Venom is, I think everyone know what slash who Venom is. Venom is a comic book character, a comic book villain, specifically a Spider-Man comic book villain, which is the main reason why these movies aren't very good. The first one was watchable and it was kind of fun, but I give it 5.5, I think, if I remember correctly, and I might be wrong, but that's what I remember, which isn't that good of a rating for me. 5.5 out of 10 ducks, but <laughs> this one is worse than that, so I'm gonna give it lower than 5.5. But I keep wanting to pronounce carnage like a French word, carnage. Oh, by the way, carnage. <laughs> I see what you did. By the way, suspicious manifold. If you want to speak about these, this movie, and the Discord, and anybody, if anyone has seen this film or just wants to join the Discord for the fun and stuff that's in there, please consider joining the Discord and possibly talking with me right now about the film in the Movie Talk voice channel. But no pressure, of course. Um, but yeah, it, that, that option is there. I'm just going to have that open just in case anyone does. Colonel Pacifico! Movie Talk, yes. Yeah, so, if you go into the Booty Quiver Discord, there is three voice channels at the bottom of the list of channels in the Discord. There is a movie talk. Oh, you're in there. So let's do it. Jeff, 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 Jeff. Jeff? Oh, yeah, no, I'm, I think I'm connected. Oh wait, no, am I in the wrong one? What do I know? Hello, Jeff, I heard something. Jeff, do, do you hear me, Jeff? Yo. Jeff, I'm gonna turn you up a bit. Oh, yeah. Yo? Yes, Jeff is in the house. We're gonna talk about this movie. It's always fun to have a guest critic. It makes it spices Yo. it up. Yeah, welcome. I am just gonna address the chat here. Hey, Doug. I'm here, my mate. Venom is an awful film. And this is the second one, too. I didn't really like the first one that much either. But it was kind of fun. This one I can't say is quite the same. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's bad. Uh, Colonel Pacifico, please follow Colonel Pacifico, folks, if you feel so inclined. And feel free to shout yourself out, of course. Colonel Pacifico. So let's get into it. I already said a brief. Like, it's a... It's a oh my goodness. Are you, are you all right? Yeah, I just dropped the keyboard. Uh, that's fair. That, that happens. That's okay. Yeah. But yeah, uh, it's been like... Probably a month or s more, I don't know, since I've seen this movie, but... That's okay. I that's saw it late, yeah. Um. Uh, that's allowed, you know? Um, there's a, As long as you've seen it, we can talk about it a little bit. But this movie sucks. So let's talk about... It's a, a Spider-Man movie without Spider-Man, basically. Because he's a Spider-Man villain. And this is what they started doing, because I think S Sony has the rights to Spider-Man characters, but not Spider-Man or something, unless they do uh, a deal with them. And there is like a little clip at the end yeah. of this movie where they show the, because of Spider-Man No Way Home, which we'll get to with the next review movie, movie review today, they have, because all the universes are shifting or whatever, so Venom is in the Tom Holland universe for a little bit. Uh, so they have a little bit of a crossover. I don't think they're going to do a crossover movie, but that could be cool. Uh, and I'll get into, because there's another little scene at the end of No Way Home with Ven Venom. But the I'll payoff is actually kind of funny. For this movie? No, just like for like the other movie. It's just yeah. like, the payoff is like not what you'd expect, but it's pretty funny. Yeah, I actually liked No Way Home, and we'll get into No Way Home. I didn't like, I did not like this one though. Um, it just, it could have been good, maybe, but honestly, it was sort of doomed from the beginning with the whole, sp without Spider-Man, and making Venom into a hero, and like the goofy jokes. Some of the jokes are funny, but most of them are not, I would say. I la I chuckled like a couple times in this one, but most, there's a lot, of, there's more cringes than chuckles, so that's not a good sign. Um, 
I'm looking up. It's DC, I, you know, what this film is really missing, right? The uh, glory of of Morbin time. Yeah, okay, we could talk about Morbius, because Morbius is another movie that's just based on a Spider-Man villain, and they're sort of like the hero. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't seen it, I haven't seen it either. But my friend Dylan Gatton has seen it, and I don't know if I really want to watch it, honestly. It's on the list, though. Yeah, because I... Because I want to, for review purposes, just because I don't want to watch something doesn't mean I won't watch it for reviewing purposes. Because I do it for the people. This is a, for the service. Just like, well, I kind of knew I wasn't going to like this movie going into it, but I, we did, here we are. Uh, but yeah, I didn't hate everything about it. I Like I said, some of the jokes. The CGI is generally pretty good in it, and Venom looks cool, Carnage looks cool. Um, I don't know about the whole... I voice thing with the, them talking to each other, I guess. I don't know if... The, I think, like, the saving grace, maybe, is just, like, um, a lot of people just watch the movie just for, uh, like, the banter being kind of, like, a sort of implied, like, relationship between them. Yeah, and, it, yeah, the, absolutely. It's sort of like an odd couple, kind of, because they have to be together, and that's where a lot of the comedy comes from. And, in fact, a lot of the plot is just them getting mad at each other and there's a point where Venom leaves but they realize that it's Tom Hardy, right? I always want to say Ed Hardy, but it's Tom it's Tom Hardy. The, right? This guy? I don't say Tom Hanks. The, yeah, it's not Tom Hanks, that's for sure. Yeah, no, it's there's Tom Hanks. There's like yeah. Holland, there's Hardy Hanks. Tom is a common name and it makes sense. But um yes it's Tom Hardy. I have the IMDB page here. But uh, yeah, he Venom realizes that He's got to be with uh, Tom Hardy. They're the match. Uh, and Woody Harrelson is in this. We've we got to talk about Woody Harrelson because he's the main villain. Carnage, or you you know, you could call him a side villain if you wanted to, and Carnage the main villain. Whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is that they're combined, so he kind of is the main villain. He is funny. I like Woody Harrelson. He's just a good actor. So he'll take some of this not very good dialogue and make me laugh a few times in this film. So I have to appreciate that. I like Woody Harrelson. Was he the perfect choice for this role? Some people who would say no because apparent. And I don't. I haven't read much of the comics. I've seen. I've maybe read one or two Spider-Man comics in my entire life. But I've heard that the character is not supposed to be this old or something. So there, there's that. Doesn't he, he start off kind of like looking like a like an evil carrot top? Yeah, and the, oh, let's talk about the beginning, because right off the bat, right off the bat, the beginning of this movie, I, right, start, yes, yeah. it sucks right off the bat, because the acting's really terrible. There's a scene with um, a young, someone who's playing a young Woody Harrelson, and there may be a voiceover or something, but there's something weird going on, and the acting does not feel right with that opening scene. Uh, same with the person playing the young Screech or whatever, the woman that can scream, has the super, oh, the super screaming ability. But, but, um, I forgot about that. That was such, such a weird like plot element. I don't know. If the, and I, again, I don't know if that's in the comics or what. But I didn't I didn't hate her, honestly. It, it, it kind of makes sense at a certain point because sound is one of the things that fucks up Venom. So to have her there fucking up the symbiotes or whatever they're called, I think that's right, uh, <laughs> makes enough sense. Um to me for a comic book movie but you know there's so much else wrong with this movie that the i'm sort of looking for things that i like just so i can i'm not shooting on it completely but it's not even it's not as good as the first one the first one wasn't that good that's like the main thing to take away i think uh and they're probably gonna do another one because i i think this made money let's check it out imgb um we got all these folks in the film obviously woody harrelson Tom Hardy, those are the main guys. The guy who played Dan is kind of funny, the boyfriend of Anne, but he's in like a couple scenes, but I had like one chuckle from him. Um, but mostly cringe, again. <laughs> um, but back down. Oh, Shriek, yeah. not Screech. Screech is the character in fucking Saved by the Bell. Shriek is the name of, <laughs> of, the, of, the, of the lady that's, that's screaming. Oh, I said, I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> I call her Screech. Well, anyway. Uh, I, mean, I don't know, actually know who, who the Saved by the Bell kids are. <laughs> I have never seen the show, but I've seen, like, clips of it. Uh, anyway, we're not, we're not going to dwell in the Saved by the Bell. Uh, budget, 
110 million holy shit movies are so expensive now i mean they were always expensive but like holy fuck you know that's great but then it, it made 506 million so i guess that's that's good it's crazy these movies making this money uh especially when they just suck like but people go people go to see the venom they go to see the characters they love right that's that's where yeah, all it, the money is now sorry go i ahead. remember seeing some discourse today about just like you know marvel movies and just how like uh yeah just like it's basically it's all green screen and cj which is fine but it's like it's sort of like people like expect this certain style now that yeah you can't like afford to or it's like on one hand they're they're kind of being cheap on like the special effects people why not giving them like enough time to make things like look really good but then like on the other hand yeah it's like if if something doesn't look spectacular like people just get like super like it's just bashed on everything yeah and i think the visuals generally were good but i do think it would be better and i'm always i always say this but i, I believe it wholeheartedly that it would be better with practical effects uh, and not, obviously there's some things that I don't think they could do practically, but they definitely could have done at least a mix with this. Um, anyways, it's now freeze. My stream is freezing. Oh no. Oh shit. Oh no, we're good. We're back. It's with, I think it's working anyway. Okay. Um. Error 3000. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get that too? I, that's what I think that's what yeah. it told me too. Yeah. I just, you just had to reload the player, but we're here. We're still going. Um, Venom, let there be carnage. I'm trying to not miss. Oh yeah, this is something I really wanted to mention, because it's super whack. I thought, and it didn't make any sense to me. And Jeff, maybe I'm crazy, but let me run you through this. So at the beginning of the movie, we we are told that Woody Harrelson's character is gonna be sentenced to death because he's a murderer. And he's a bad guy, and that all makes sense. But then, Eddie Brock discovers all the bodies that he's hidden. And then all of a sudden the the news and the police and everyone is saying that now he's sentenced to death. And they're, they're saying it's all Eddie Brock's fault. But he was sentenced before this because they have the newspaper, uh, Screech or, or whatever is reading, the, uh, is reading the newspaper that says he's getting sentenced. But then they switch it and all of a sudden yeah, like it's I, Eddie Brock's fault. I don't remember, fault. but like, that sounds... Fair. Like, you know, it sounds like one of those kind of, like, you know, you start f filming a thing with, like, half a script, and then you kind of build on it, like, as you go. <laughs> no, no, exactly. Uh, and that's possibly what happened. It's it's possible. But it definitely, something was missing. And also in the trailer, I think, they also explain that. So it just doesn't make sense to be like, okay, all of a sudden it's... They just wanted to make any reason... For Woody Harrelson to hate Tom Hardy, I think. I think yeah, the thing I found, well, there were a few things, I guess. One, just like the, like near the end, like the climax is just kind of this little fight in the church, and it seems like both high stakes and just kind of like meh. You know, it's it's just like yeah. every other. It's pretty predictable for superhero movies, right? I would uh, I would agree. The other, the other weird thing I think too is just because he has like this um like you know ex-girlfriend character and, and for some reason like for a whole bunch of the movie he's trying to hide the fact that Venom's still with him and it just like makes no sense like I think she's supposed to not like v Venom in him because it makes him a different yeah. person or something but then she's sort of like okay with Venom later but she's still with Dan, so yeah, I don't know. It's it's all kind of stupid and not even that interesting, yeah. though. Either way you look at it. Yeah. Also, yeah, like the uh, Carnage and was it Screech? Uh, Screech was, was the Screech? fake name. We'll just keep calling her Screech. I forget what the X. <laughs> it's it's like Squeal or something. I forget. <laughs> I keep forget, but it's the point. Yeah, is, it just like she her, can scream. Her reactions yeah. to all that's going on is seems just kind of like just because the plot needs it. Yeah, I um, like, her doesn't seem to be like responding to Carnage in the way that you expect somebody to be like. 
<laughs> yeah, I think I know what you mean. Because at the end, there's the whole part with Carnage being like, you know what, fuck this bitch. I'm taking over the situation, basically. And she does sort of just like not say anything or so at one point and it, it's like okay yeah you would i think i get what you're saying she would like freak out more or something and it doesn't seem realistic in that sense i think is what you're trying to say right it makes, right. It, it makes sense to me um but yeah this movie is basically what we're saying here is this movie is bad generally um would i watch another sequel <sighs> probably just to review it not for enjoyment but um i would but I'm gonna give this pretty low rating for my ratings, I think. But I'm thinking below five, but just just below five. Yeah. It had some fun I, bits. I will say, What's that? Yeah, I, just, I will say that the whole idea of like, this, you know, like a lot of studios have attempted like these shared universes now, and a lot of them failed. Like just the got like one movie going. Like and the then, Mummy one. Or a couple the, movies and then ditched it, right? The Mummy um, with Tom Cruise. Yeah. The, <laughs> The like, whatever Universal Monsters one. Yeah, um, that was a one movie universe. Uh, okay. Yeah, I just, I think, like, Sony is kind of like weird. Spider Man minus, or Spider Man minus Spider Man. Yeah, and it just doesn't kind of work, of, really. Because he's like just, a different, he's like an alternative Spider Man, basically, at this point. Because he's got yeah, similar it just powers. Seems a bit weird. I think, like, it's like, the, what's that? Um, that animated one, Spider Verse, was pretty cool, but yeah, I reviewed that too, and I liked like the story was good. I didn't really like the animation style, but I did like it. Yeah. The story was undeniably good. Um, so yeah, I like that one too. But I just I don't like that animation style. It's all choppy and stuff. Mm. I, I wish things were just more smooth. But I, that, uh, a small note, I guess. But still, anyway, Venom, let there be carnage. I am running out of things to say about it. I had that that was one of the main things I wanted to mention about the beginning and just like some of the acting and stuff, but yeah. Not being not let very there good. Be, let there be Carnage. 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 Let, Carnage. Let there be uh dessert, I don't know. Yeah. And there's some like I don't know, the action scenes are generally pretty fun, I think. Like it's cool to see these monsters tearing up shit and stuff. Um but it is sort of like at this point in time in cinema we've seen so much right we've seen everything and that was a point you were sort of making earlier that yeah it's a cool fight scene in this church and whatever but you know it's we're expecting all of this uh which i think is a similar reason why morbius it's gotten all this clout just based on the fact it's so by the numbers it, it's so basic that people are making fun of it and saying it's really good as a joke uh, so, and I think that's pretty funny, by the way. But anyways, I am running out of shit to say, so Jeff, do you have any final words on Venom, Let There Be Carnage? Uh, I forget, was this similar to the first one where, like, uh, a lot of the, like, the violence and gore is just kind of implied, like, to keep the lower rating? Probably. They show, like, a little bit, and... I feel like this was probably, what, PG-13 or 14A yeah, or whatever. because it's like, he'll bite off heads, but it's like, there's no blood, you don't see They anything. don't show that much, you're right. And they have, I think probably, they probably did in the first one, I forget, but they had one, they said fuck once, like at the end of the movie, mm -hmm. this movie. And I think that's like the rule, you get like one or two fucks, I think. For, yeah, so it kind of feels a bit like, yeah. definitely a sanitized kind of Venom, at least for what I know about Venom. Um, well, yeah, he's supposed to be... Yeah, so like a psycho. Like, I've heard Carnage is like, just, you know, actual Carnage, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. And people, and that was like the main reason people wanted to see this movie, right? Was people wanted to see Carnage, it was another popular character. Uh, and, you know, maybe, the, like I said, there's going to be another mo of these movies for sure, I think, so. Well, probably, because yeah. it was so success, people keep, People keep buying the tickets, they're gonna keep making it. That's it's that simple. Uh no matter no matter how much we shit on it. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end it. You have All right. you said everything you wanna say? Yep. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna go hang up on the phone, but I'll see you in the chat. Thank wait, 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 what do you wanna rate it before you go? Uh out of ten? Yeah. Or uh It's pretty bad. I don't know. Probably five.
I'm giving it. I'm giving it. So that's fair. That's it fair. I'm giving it a little lower. I'm gonna give it four point five. Cause it's just fun. all right. I'll give it five then. Well, do whatever you feel. Whatever you feel. Uh, but four point five out of ten dogs for me. Five for Jeff. And I think that's three. Is both those are both reasonable ratings. I think for this movie because it's because it's just overall very underwhelming. So I'm gonna put on the beat and I'm gonna say goodbye to you, Jeff. Thank you for being here. Uh, it was fun talking right. about this. And maybe you want to talk about No Way Home later at 7. But if not, that's sure. okay. All right. See you in the chat. Bye-bye, friend. Thank you. All right. And now I'm going to put on a beat. And then we're going to do the wrap-up. No pun intended because I'm not rapping yet. But uh, I'm going to, yeah, like I said, put on a song, a musical number here. Will I quickly do the wrap up of the film? Um, rap show music. Where is that folder? There it is. Beautiful. Okay, here is Garage Boys Instrumental from Patrick Jake. All right, so Venom, Let There Be Carnage. I did not like it that much. It had some redeeming factors. There was a couple good jokes. The effects aren't bad, there's some exciting bits, but it falls flat in a lot of areas. Some of the acting is rough, the story is bad. There just should not be these movies without Spider-Man, really, in my opinion. But hey, they're kind of entertaining a little bit. So, 4.5 out of 10 dugs. Venom, let there be carnage. <laughs>